Hello artists! Today we will be finishing exploring where artists get their ideas from. Remember that artists get their ideas from things they see, feel, remember, imagine, and from experimenting with their ideas and materials. Today we will cover the final two ideas we did not get a chance to last class. We will also take a moment to reflect on our studio tracker. If there was an artwork from last class that you want to revisit or finish, you might have time to do so today. A reminder before we get started. Some of these activities will require working together, so remember to use kind words with one another and try talking out problems. Every artist deserves to feel safe and respected in our art studio. We also want to remind you all to try your best. There are no wrong answers here, so try your best and give each station your best effort. Collaborative Paradise Drawing Like the Map of Sun Prey activity, this is another collaborative drawing activity that everyone will be adding on to during class. Here you can see me and Mrs. Cutterly adding on to the drawing to show what our paradise looks like. Paradise can be defined as a place of great joy and beauty. You might even call it a perfect place. No two people will have the same idea of paradise. So ask yourself, what does paradise look like to you? Some might imagine an island made of candy and populated by unicorns. Others might think of an arcade that stretches for 10 miles and the world's largest soda fountain. Here, there are no wrong answers. With everyone in your group, add on to the drawing of what paradise might look like to you. As the class rotates through the stations, more and more will be added to the drawing. And here is the start of what Mrs. Cutterly and I made. It's complete with catacorns and dogacorns, it's raining skittles, and there is music in the air. Remember that this is just what me and Mrs. Cutterly thought paradise would look like, so your class might have a totally different idea of what this could look like. This is an imagine activity. Some artists make artwork based on things they imagine. Still life drawings. During class, we will be passing around different still life objects for you to draw. You can draw in your sketchbook or on drawing paper if you do not have your sketchbook. This is a skill that takes a lot of years of practice to master, so please be patient with yourself while trying to do this. Look closely at the objects and observe all you can and get every detail you can onto your paper. This is a C activity. Some artists make artwork based on what they see. We have been learning about where artists get their ideas. This is called Envision. It is a studio habit of mind. Artists create artwork about what they see, feel, remember, imagine, and they even experiment with ideas and materials. Your last group activity center is about a different studio habit of mind. For this activity, you will reflect or think deeply about your artistic process and growth. You will need your studio tracker, which will be yellow for grades second and third, and blue for grades 4th and 5th. You will also need a pencil. Open your studio tracker to the back of the first page. There, at the bottom of the page, will be two questions you will need to answer. What did you do well in the art lab? Your answer might be about a specific artwork, studio, technique, studio habit of mind, or a behavior choice. Think of one thing that is an area of strength for you. The second question is, what was challenging or hard for you? Your answer might be about a specific artwork, studio, technique, studio habit of mind, or a behavior choice. Think of one thing that was difficult for you. You might have overcome this challenge, or you might still be working on it. Now flip to the top of the second page. This first question is the same for grades 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Think about the artwork you made over the first quarter. Where did your ideas come from? Look over your weekly studio tracker to refresh your memory. Yes, we did five activities about where artists get their ideas, but this question is now asking you to reflect on the artwork you made on your own. What category does it fall under? You may circle more than one category. 
The very last question is different for grades 2nd, 3rd, and grades 4th and 5th. Read the question, then circle the strategies you used. You may circle more than one strategy if you used more than one strategy. If you circle other strategy, write the strategy you used on the blank line below it. Thank you all for watching and participating in our activities exploring where artists get their ideas.